हेलो हेलो माइक टेस्ट And you'll see by writing just a few lines of code, we have extracted such a huge information about all the different types of cryptocurrencies coins that we have, including the Twitter sentiment analysis as well. So this is great, and I th- I highly recommend you to explore it. Hello, financial programmers. I'm Ritwik Dashora, and I'm back with a new video and some new learnings. This is the second video of our playlist on Coin Paprika. In the first video, we talked about the platform. Uh, what are the advantages how to get an api etc in this video we'll dig deeper into the documentation of coin paprika api we'll see how to implement all the features that are available on coin paprika and for this purpose we'll be using google collab which is very easy to use as well uh, but before that guys if you are new to my youtube channel on this channel i turn all my viewers to successful financial programmers here i upload videos related to trading bots implementation of ai in finance how to use some highly valuable finance apis making trading act making trading strategies etc etc so if this is something that you are interested in then click on the subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon because there are many more videos and playlists that are in my pipeline which will be uploaded very very soon and i bet you that this one free click will add a lot of value to your life okay so without any further ado let's start now uh, this is the website of coin paprika if we click on api button here it will redirect us to the api documentation this is the api documentation if you remember in the last video as well i uh, like briefly skimmed this documentation and i uh, told you about how to use the requests library to extract the information through the url right now um if you just scroll down a bit you'll see there are many api uh, sdks available as well which is uh, and one of the sdks is of python sdk python library so if you click on this one it will redirect us to the github page right now here all the information is provided on how to install the uh, python library how to use it use it etc etc so uh, let's uh, start from the beginning i'll just copy this one this the way we can install the coin paprika sdk package which is pip install coin paprika sdk just copied it let's come to google collab and i'll just paste it shift enter which is basically running the code this will take some time and will install coin paprika sdk package perfect it's done now let's come to the next part which is how to import the coin paprika again i'll just copy this one only uh, let's come back here let's paste it which is from coin paprika import client as coin paprika client is equal to coin paprika dot client let's just re- run it now let's do the next section which is uh, uh, yeah this one was for the free plan client and this one is for the pro plan client the api key will be given to the pro plan client so let's uh, just uh, copy this particular code as well i'll come back here let's paste it here because i have the api key as well so i'll just paste it here let's shift enter which is running this code and that's it so uh, now of course i'll have to provide my api key so what i'll do is i'll just write api key and then inside this i'll provide the actual api key that i have i'll run the code and then I, i'll delete it again because of course i don't want to uh, show it uh, on the public platform but yeah this is how i'll be saving the api key in this particular variable perfect the api key is now saved in this one i will now replace this with the api key variable right along with this i would also like to import pandas because we'll have to work on many data frames going forward perfect so our code is ready now we'll now have to run multiple functions and we'll see what all different uh, things are available at coin paprika okay so let's do one thing i'll just write dir which is directory and then client let's see what all different things are available we will skip these ones and yeah from here we have something of our interest basically these are all the functions that coin paprika python sdk package offers right of course they will keep on adding different functionalities but uh, so you know, so you need to keep a uh, keep an eye on the documentation at the Git, github and the main documentation page at coin paprika website but yeah these are the functions which are available as of now let's say uh, start exploring all of them one by one so i'll just write client dot coins this will actually give me information about all the cryptocurrency coins available at uh, uh 
coin uh, paprika packet coin paprika platform so yeah you can see everything is available in order to look at uh, let's say in a pandas data frame format what, I, what i'll do is just write pd dot data frame and then inside that i'll just provide this one let's see if it works it does not uh okay there's a mistake here spelling mistake let's see perfect so we have a table of 67000 plus coins uh what information do we have we have id which is coin id which is very important in future we'll refer to these ids names right what is the name of the cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum tether etc symbols rank i think this rank is be on the basis of the popularity and the volume mostly but this is what uh, the ranking system is as per coin paprika this these are not the recommendation ranking these are just mostly on the volume um is new are these coins new these are not new is active these are active coins and there are many coins which are inactive as well and uh, the, the type it is it is a coin or a token so that's it i think let's move to the next function i'll just write client dot and let's see what all different things are available now so google collab does recommend all the functions here as well so i have used coins let's see what is coin inside this if i just uh, provide a parenthesis it asks coin id now what is coin id this is these are all the coin id so what i'll do here is uh, let's uh, copy one of them let's just copy say the first one which is btc you uh, bitcoin just write id is equal to this one and like in in, in uh, other functions whenever it asks coin id i'll just provide the id here right let's run this so what information do we get we get all the information about bitcoin here right name symbol rank and all these things that we saw in the in the main data frame as well and the other things like tags right logo team right satoshi nakamoto and all these people description open source development status proof type and all these things like there are many social media handles as well which actually you can use to track the updates on this particular cryptocurrency now this one is bitcoin so of course a lot of information is available but if the coin is not very famous then you will get some really great rare information here on this platform perfect moving to the next one i'll write client dot right coin coins and then let's see events here also we need to provide the id here when we run it it will let us know all the major events about this particular cryptocurrency and the link that we can refer right so for any sentiment analysis or any event based strategies that you're making something like this might be helpful now let's see client dot exchange list i want a list of all the exchanges so let's just run it perfect this is a very very big uh, dictionary that we have got uh, of all the exchanges which are available in the cryptocurrencies market which is which are tracked by coin paprika right so you'll see gemini i think there would be binance as well yeah, yeah you can see this binance dex is available and then binance is also here there would be coinbase and other platforms available as well so again a very detailed information about the exchange who is the ceo like some some text about it etc the active status uh, website status uh, and so on the some some important um, um, social media links etc so yeah again an important platform where you can extract information about the exchange now let's write client dot let's see what is exchange markets inside this i need to provide the exchange id now what is exchange id exchange id is something here so i'll just write binance here let's see what all information will we get perfect so all the cryptocurrencies that are being traded in this particular exchange is in front of you now Right. it would have bitcoin and other some major cryptocurrencies as well but it has information about all the pairs that are trading on this exchange so binance is very famous so there are many if you are looking for uh, some other exchange there might be a few exchanges a uh, few cryptocurrencies which which would be trading on that exchange perfect let's go with the next one climb dot if you just write exchange yeah exchanges and then inside this coin id coin id is the I, uh, id variable right, which we have already provided so it will give us information about all the exchanges on which this particular coin id is trading at we have bitcoin btc bitcoin as a coin id if you remember so all the exchanges on which bitcoin is being traded is something which is in front of you now again very useful information client dot next one global market right inside this we don't need to provide anything it gives us information about the overall bigger picture of the entire industry right market cap volume uh, dominance bitcoin dominance percentages i think this is um, considering the market cap only right so right now 50 percent of the market cap is being dominated by bitcoin only and some uh, pricing information available here right let's move to the next one client dot historical data right so i just write historical 
inside this what i need to provide coin id which is id comma if you go here i would like to check the examples here inside this github page right let's click on examples here what is mentioned historical yeah this is the one yeah perfect so in this if you see they uh, they are providing the coin id and they are also providing the start date just copy the start date comma and then the start date i will do 2024 um say february and uh, from 20th february what data are we getting perfect so this is basically the price pricing data historical pricing data which starts uh, from this particular date and time right and the interval is 15 minutes here so if you see 9 15 9 20 9 25 9 30 9 35 it's five minutes sorry not 15 minutes so every five minutes we are getting the data timestamp price volume and market cap right and this data is real time if you will refresh it after five minutes you'll get another um, i would say dictionary in the end which will be the pricing data of the last five minutes as well so what you can do here is basically make a for loop indefinite for loop or a while loop which extracts information every five minutes to get the data of Bitcoin and then make some project or something from it. Something which is very uh, similar to this one, but more advanced is something called WebSocket as well. They also have the uh, the streaming data available through WebSocket. And this is the um, the reference code that actually you can uh, use to extract the, uh, the pricing data. Again, all the links are in the description section. Please go ahead and then everything is mentioned here quite easily. And you can plan extracting some real time data through this particular web socket as well just uh, before that guys i have a very important information to share recently i launched a course on uh, python for financial programming so if you are trying to learn python for finance from scratch then this is something that you might be interested in just go to my website which is fpretwick.com slash python over here you will see two buttons indian candidates non-indian candidates so you can click as per your uh, location it will redirect you to this the main website where the entire course information is available you'll see that uh, there are five sessions 10 chapters 22 videos 10 quizzes and three assignments with two live projects and uh, uh, this is the entire syllabus of this course for all the people who are interested to learn python from scratch and who are struggling learning python on their own i highly recommend it because uh, it's very very affordable and i have covered a lot of things from a very very simplistic eyesight and in the end in session four and five you'll see stock analysis and investment portfolio creation projects which are my personal projects we did it using some financial analysis if you use rtk40 code uh, you'll get an instant 40 percent discount which is only available for the first 100 candidates so yes guys i'll see you in the course let's come back to our code some basic python understanding is important and i think this course will help you a lot to upskill yourself in python for finance okay so the next one which is client dot oh lcv which is very similar to the historical one i'll provide exactly same data here uh, which is id and the start date let's come back here what it will do is it will extract information about open high low close volume information market cap and then time open and close right as per this particular date so yeah if you write client dot markets and then inside this i need to provide the coin id it will give us information about the markets on which this particular uh, cryptocurrency is trading at right again some more detailed information about the entire market um, you can get the ohlcv or uh, today's ohlcv as well by writing client dot today and then set this providing the id right this will give us information about the ohlcv as of today last three four things are meaning client dot price converter if you would like to convert um, uh, i would say prices from one cryptocurrencies to some other uh, segment like us dollars and you would like to get that conversion as of now exactly then what you can do here is use price converter inside this i, I just provide the base currency id which is btc usd in this case i will replace this with id <clears throat> and uh, the code currency id which is say us dollars and the amount is 1337 if you run this you'll see the information about the conversion of 1337 bitcoin into the us dollars and right and all the information what is the time it is considering for the conversion of uh, the cryptocurrency now let's see client dot ticker inside this i'll provide id it provides information about the ticker information right which is basically for bitcoin if you see all this information it provides information uh, about the the pricing data historical pricing data market cap of the cryptocurrency right you'll see the percentage change info info the market capitalization volume etc all this information inside the quotes segment right and some other uh, general information about bitcoin if you write client dot tickers and inside this you don't need to provide any input 
then it will give you information about all this information that we saw for Bitcoin for all the cryptocurrencies which are available or are being tracked by CoinPaprika. Last thing is client.twitter for the sentiment analysis, right? Inside this, I'll provide ID. If you run this, it will give you information about all the recent tweets that have happened uh, about this particular cryptocurrency that we have chosen, which is Bitcoin in our cases of now. So I think... Uh, we have covered almost everything and you'll see and you'll see by writing just a few lines of code we have extracted such a huge information about all the different types of cryptocurrencies coins that we have including the twitter sentiment analysis as well so this is great and i, th I highly recommend you to explore it now i'll save this particular code in my google drive and not only this code there are many more codes that are saved in my google drive which are which includes make my own personal trading bot, some of my pile script trading strategies, some other study materials that might be useful for you. And in order to get an access of my Google Drive, you can become a Google Drive community member. And for that, just go to my YouTube channel, which is Financial Programming with Ritwik. Click here and then over here, you'll see this particular link just on the right hand side of my photo, which is this one. If you click on this link, it will redirect you to a post. Just follow these steps to become a Google Drive community member. You'll see the cost of uh, being a Google Drive community member is very small. And the reason that I'm charging this small amount of money because I had a couple of interns to maintain the quality of the Google Drive that we have over there. And I am very glad to tell you that all the people on the in the community are very happy with the content that they are getting on Google Drive and with the skills that they are adding in their resumes. So I highly recommend you to go through it. Lastly, if you liked even one thing, guys, please click on the like button. It's really really important for the algorithm and also there are many more videos coming on this youtube channel so click on the subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon because uh, every time i upload the video you'll get notified that something great has come on youtube now and you should check it out in the next video i will uh, talk about how to make a dashboard using all the functions that we have explored in this video if you would like to involve me in your personal projects yes guys we provide in freelancing services as well just write to me on this particular email address and we'll reach out to you as soon as possible. Last but not the least, if you are learning Python from scratch, I highly recommend you to check out my uh, course on Python for financial programming. Thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end. You can click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Over there you'll see this entire playlist on CoinPaprika. And over there you'll see uh, how I made my uh, MT5 trading bot in less than one hour and that too for free. Keep learning, keep financial programming and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Till then, peace.